Hey there, everyone, and welcome to Section 2 of our LinkedIn Marketing 2018 video training course, the LinkedIn Marketing in 2018 step-by-step -step section, where we are going to show you how to easily dominate basic LinkedIn marketing tasks step-by-step. -step. Contents in this section include LinkedIn Walkthrough, Creating a Company Page for Marketing, Creating and Sponsoring a Company Update, Using the Campaign Manager, Creating your first LinkedIn ads campaign. Creating text ads and sponsored in-mail ads. So let's start off with a comprehensive walkthrough around the LinkedIn platform. LinkedIn Walkthrough. Getting started. As with any other digital marketing platform, it is essential that you learn LinkedIn inside out in order to use it to its fullest potential. And in this video, we are going to walk you through the site so you can learn to navigate it on your own later on. You will need a LinkedIn account to use it for marketing. If you don't have one yet, you'll simply have to go to LinkedIn.com and enter your first name, your last name, your email address, and a password to create a new account. Once you have an account, you'll just have to enter your email and password in the corresponding fields on LinkedIn's front page, and then to click on the Sign In button to access the site through your account. Navigating the LinkedIn feed. You will always land on the news feed every time that you sign in on LinkedIn. By default, the news feed page is also LinkedIn's homepage. You will be able to post updates from the news feed. To do so, you will simply have to click on the share an article, photo, video, or idea field on top of the news feed. You will also have the option to write an article. By clicking on this option, you will be redirected to an article editing section from where you will be able to create long-form posts with a banner image, a headline, text, images, and video. You can click on the Images button to upload an image to your post, or you can click on the Video button to upload a video to your post. You can also click on the Post Settings menu to access additional options before you post your updates. These options include selecting public to make your updates visible to anyone, selecting public plus Twitter to make it visible to anyone both on LinkedIn and on Twitter, or selecting connections to make your update visible only to your LinkedIn connections. You will find LinkedIn's instant messaging feature called Messaging located on the lower right-hand corner of the screen. Right over the messaging widget, you will find a What People Are Talking About section where you will find news and stories shared by other professionals on the platform. Right below is an ad placement, where you will be served promoted content as well as promoted job listings. Right in the middle, you will find the actual newsfeed content, which includes profile posts, company updates, and sponsored content. Over the left-hand column, you will find a link to your profile, a shortcut to update your profile, and a link to your connections. Navigating the top bar menu. Let's now look at the top bar menu. From left to right is the search bar, which will allow you to make searches by using keywords or by refining searches using the people, jobs, and posts filters. Next up is the home button, which you'll simply have to click on to go back to the newsfeed. Then you'll find the My Network tab, which will take you to your professional network management section. From here, you can check your connections. You can use the Find Connections link or the Add Personal Contacts field to locate professional profiles by importing a contact list from your email addresses and see your pending invitations, as well as a list of people you may know with profile suggestions. Let's now click on the Jobs tab. In this section, you will be able to manage your saved jobs, your applied jobs, and to post a job. In the jobs that you might be interested in column, you will find job post suggestions based on the information on your profile. And you can also search for jobs using the search jobs and search locations fields on top. Let's now click on the messaging tab. In this section, you will be able to manage your correspondence with other members and companies. Here, you will be able to access your received messages, to read your messages, to use the search messages bar to locate specific messages and to use the compose a new message button to create new correspondence. Lastly, 
You can click on the Notifications tab to access and manage your notifications. Let's now click on the Me tab. The Me tab is a drop-down menu that will give you access to your profile, to your account settings, and to your account's activity. The first option available is the View Profile option, which will take you to your LinkedIn profile. This option will allow you to view and edit your profile from top to bottom. Here you will find the option to add profile section to include additional professional information to your profile such as background, information including work experience, education, and volunteer experience. You can also add your skills and your accomplishments. You can use the Edit Public Profile feature to customize your public profile, which is the preview profile that you show to people without LinkedIn accounts. You can use the Add Profile in Another Language feature to create your profile in a different language. You will have the option to update your background photo, your profile photo, your name, your intro headline, and your current job position. You can also add experience and interests to your profile. Back on the Me menu, you will have the account and the Manage submenus. Let's start by clicking on the Settings and Privacy submenu tab. There you will be able to edit your account settings, including basic account information such as email address, password, and language, your partners and third-party settings, your subscription settings, and other advanced account settings. From there, you will also be able to edit your privacy settings and your communication settings. Now by clicking on the Help Center tab from this sub-menu, you will be able to access LinkedIn Support Library. You can use the Language tab to change your language. Let's now look at the Manage submenu. Let's start by clicking on the Posts and Activity submenu tab. In this section, you will be able to check and manage your LinkedIn activity, including your articles, your posts, and your interests. The Job Postings tab will allow you to manage your job postings. Lastly, the Sign Out tab will allow you to sign out of LinkedIn with a simple click. Finally, you'll find the Work Menu tab. From this menu, you will be able to access more LinkedIn products, as well as LinkedIn's business services. LinkedIn products that you can access from this menu include Learning, Post a Job, Advertise, Groups, ProFinder, and SlideShare. LinkedIn's business services that you can access from this menu include Talent Solutions, Sales Solutions, Post a Job, Advertise, and Learning Solutions. There is a last option on this menu called Create a Company Page, which will allow you to create a profile for your brand. We are going to teach you how to use this option to create a company page from scratch in our next video. So tune in.